So, Mr. Okay. Nino, I, I have to be honest with you. I've been fibbing with you a little bit. That's not the only reason for our phone call today. You have been chosen as the 23-24 Legacy Award winner for the Corona Norco Unified School District. Congratulations. Uh -huh. uh, they kind, again, humbled. And it's not just Corona High School. It's the district, the community, the town. I was supposed to be at Corona High School for one year. I told the principal that hired me, I'll come by for one year, but I really got to go back to Santa Ana. We're very glad you didn't go back to Santa Ana. <laughs> I met Jose Nino in the fall of 1976. He had such an energy about him that people were just drawn to him. He was already teaching by the time I was born. I took some of my first steps in his classroom, I took classes in that classroom, and then I inherited that classroom later on when I started teaching, and that was awesome. Word got out about just how wonderful this man was, and students were going in there that never had him as a teacher. I would get all the time, wait, you're Mr. Nino's son? Yeah. Uh, and what's that like? It's just like what you experience in the classroom. Same thing at home, same thing everywhere else. So he's a really consistent, good guy. His impact trickled out beyond his classroom. It went beyond Corona High School. It went into the community. He was varsity coach, I was JV coach, and we got to travel everywhere. And do great things. He worked with every group of students from English language learners, LGBTQ, gate students, students with special needs. His just demonstration of passion that inspired me to do what I do. It just, it doesn't end um, the number of lives he affected, he truly affected. In May of 1970, I was offered a job at Corona High School. And I agreed to it on one condition, that I would only teach for one year. That turned into 48 years, the most wonderful years of my life. When I got to Corona, I still kept in touch with a lot of my friends. And the longer I was here, the more they asked me, how do you like Corona? I said, I love Corona. And at one point I realized, it wasn't Corona High School that I loved. It wasn't Corona the city that I loved, it was the people. It took me about four or five years to feel comfortable with life as a teacher. And I discovered that being fair, being kind, and being respectful became my philosophy in teaching. As the superintendent and on behalf of the Board of Education, the executive cabinet, we want to congratulate you. I am very, very touched to be included in the same breath as Mr. Jerry Smith, I always look up to him because he's so tall. <laughs> yes, yes. Wherever I went, I, I got to know wonderful people. At Norco, Centennial, Santiago, Pollard, everywhere. And it's not what I give them, it's what they give me that I appreciate.